Welcome back to Spectre Creative, your home on YouTube for a trip down memory lane as we look at all of the modern Star Wars action figures from Kenner slash Hasbro slash Hasbro slash Kenner. They tend to go back and forth depending on what's on the packaging. And based on the very green images you're seeing, today we're talking about Endor Luke or Luke on speeder bike, or Luke with poncho. Lots of names have been used for this figure over the years, and it tends to be an evergreen figure that's always released in the line in different scales. And we're obviously talking about the 3 and 3 fourth version that came in Power of the Force 2 with a speeder bike, because we're going in the exact release order, and this was the next figure released after the second Empire Strikes Back wave. So, interesting to note, there's a lot of unique things about this figure, such as the fact that the packaging originally had no glove on his hand, and then got quickly replaced by packaging with a glove on his hand. All the figures had a glove, but the original version shot for the packaging seemed to be uh, missing that one piece of his outfit. The back of the package showed other figures in the line, vehicles, as well as the spring-loaded action feature, which was a direct pickup from the vintage line because they reused the tooling. The vintage speeder bike was shown with a scout trooper and, well, I guess, an Ewok next to him, Chief Chirpa, but they never released a speeder bike specific with Luke or Leia. Of course, in lots of the promotional materials, you could see that Luke and Leia would also, you know, work with the speeder bike, but they never actually released a version specific to these characters the way they now did with Power of the Force 2. So Luke was ready to be geared up and mount his speeder bike, and there are a lot of very unique things about this figure, which we're going to dive into. Things you may not even realize, and things that really do stand out and make him different. So, a quick look down memory lane. The very first Luke in Endor gear was, of course, released in the Vintage line at the very, very tail end. Actually, can we call it the Vintage line? The original line? I think we're calling it the original line now. Ugh, I hate all these names getting reused. Retro line, Vintage line... All right, well, the first Power of the Force line from 1985, the one that came with the shiny coins, that was where we got our first Luke and Endor gear. And he came ready with his blaster and his poncho, which is interesting, and we're going to circle back to that in a moment. But it was a figure that not as many folks had, kids, because, again, it came at the very tail end of the line. And what's really interesting is if you peel up the Endor poncho, if you will, like you have the cloak, the poncho, Underneath, he is a completely different figure from Jedi Luke. He's wearing the Death Star 2 outfit underneath, complete with glove and belt and the whole nine yards, but he does have a permanently attached Endor helmet. So the J Jedi Luke figure that was released in the line that came with lightsaber and blaster and cloak, he's dressed in his Jabba's Palace tunic, which is a little bit different. It's got another layer on top of the inner tunic that he wears on Death Star 2. But he was a great member of the kind of Endor squad that you could pair him up with Luke and Leia. And it's interesting that with Leia, unlike Luke, who also came with the removable poncho, but you could actually also remove her helmet, unlike Luke. Luke's helmet was permanently part of his sculpt. So if you removed her helmet and her poncho underneath, much like Luke, was another sculpt, in this case, General Leia from the Home One briefing scene. So it's pretty cool. You got two Leias in one. With Luke, you kind of did. You got close to Death Star 2, Luke, but because his helmet was not removable like Leia's was, now you had Death Star 2 Luke wearing an Endor combat helmet, which is never actually seen on screen. So shame we never got Death Star 2 Luke. And also, interesting now, how going to the modern line, our first Endor Luke is also wearing his Death Star 2 outfit with a helmet permanently attached. So, I don't know if this was an homage. I don't think it was. I think it's just the way the figure was made. I mean, he looks great on the speeder bike, but he's not a Death Star 2 Luke because you can't remove that helmet, even though he does have the tunic on underneath. And like his brother in the Scout Trooper, this is the first Luke figure to have articulated knees. Unlike Scout Trooper, though, he's not in kind of a bendy leg position. Should also be noted, he's one of the only figures in the entire line that doesn't have peg holes in the feet. So that's also interesting. The Scout Trooper did have peg holes. And 
Much like the Scout Trooper, he comes with his speeder bike, but unlike the Scout Trooper, he also has accessories. The Scout Trooper's blaster was sculpted in his holster. Luke's accessories for this release are very unique. His lightsaber has a squished square handle. That's the one on the bottom there, compared to the top with the Jedi Luke release from two waves previous. This is done so he, it'll fit into his gripping hand, which is a little bit wider C-grip, in order to grab onto the controls of the speeder bike. So you got a very unique lightsaber that was never released again with any other figure. So if you have a squished lightsaber in your collection and you're trying to figure out where it came from, well, there you go. It goes with this particular Luke because his hand was in a wider grip. And of course, he did use his lightsaber on Endor, so it makes sense that he would come with a lightsaber, unlike the vintage toy, which only came with a blaster. And that was the blaster he used in Jabba's palace that he pulled out of a guard's holster to attack Jabba right before he's thrown in the Rancor pit. What's interesting that since the vintage figure came with this blaster, you can tell from the detail on the muzzle, as well as the uh, detail on the very rear of the gun, that this is the Jabba the Pal Jabba, Jabba the Palace Jabba the Hut Palace gun. The gun that comes with Endor Luke in Power of the Force 2 is also a unique gun, but it's a modified version of Han's gun where the barrel is moved to the side instead of being on the top. It's the same gun that would later come with Nine Numb in Power of the Force 2. So he gets a unique lightsaber and a unique blaster. And the figure shipped in an assortment that started off just with the Scout Trooper on his speeder bike, so you could get Scout Trooper and Luke. Eventually, other figures in this same price point joined the case pack, including a concept figure speeder bike. And of course, Leia got a version, and Shadows of the Empire got their swoop bike. So the assortment continued to grow with more different characters in the Master Carton. The swoop bike, incidentally, which was released for Shadows of the Empire, did show up in the special editions as it makes its way through Mos Eisley and disturbs a Ronto and Jawa. It's a pretty cool figure, but I'm not going to do a whole video on it because it's Shadows of the Empire, and we're sticking with the original trilogy. So Leia did get her speeder bike, and we'll get to a full review of her, but she did not come out at the same time as Luke. There was a lag between her release and Luke's release. So Luke came out between the... Uh, Hoth wave of, from Empire and some of the mail-away figures. Leia came out later on. Of course, you could team them up and put them on the speeder together, and Luke pretty much sat on there, although I think if you flew it around, he might fall off since he doesn't have that T-bar to hold him in place left over from the vintage line. Luke would also be re-released in the Millennium Minted Coin series, along with several figures, and it's noted this version, and we'll get to a full review of this one once we get to the Millennium Minted Coin figures. Again, we're going in exact release order. Well, he's slightly modified from the speeder release, most notably because he does not have the articulated knees that the uh, biker version needed, because obviously he had to mount the bike. And this one comes with a coin as an accessory, not a bike, although the bike is shown on the coin. And his lightsaber returns to the regular one, not the squished one. There was also more deco on the cloak, well, or poncho, I guess, uh, yeah, I shouldn't really call it a cloak, versus the original release that just had some spray wash. The new version for the Millennium Minted Coin one had actually more deco hits and more detail to it to make it more screen accurate to the way he actually looks in Return of the Jedi. Thank you very much, rebelscum.com, that I borrowed this image from. You can also see the Millennium Minted Coin one has a black belt versus an incorrect brown belt on the original release with the speeder bike. So there they are side by side. Uh, you know, similar yet different. Leia would also get a redo in the Millennium Minted Coin version where she would also lose her knee articulation and get more deco on her cloak and her blaster would be included. But again, this is a story for another time once we get to the full Millennium Minted Coin selection. Luke, as an Endor figure, had relatively few releases in 3 and 3 fourths. It would be years, actually decades, before we got an actual carded single release of Luke in his Endor gear, and his poncho. For a figure that was, you know, one of his major outfits from Return of the Jedi, it's amazing how this speeder bike Luke and the Millennium Minted Coin version had to be our modern Luke for the greater part of a decade before we finally got a more articulated version and a uh, improved version first in the Saga collection. 
And then another one would get released that was kind of a step back as the Five Points of Articulation series took over, and Luke would get an inexpensive version released on a Rebels card during the brief run of this figure series to go with the cartoon show, obviously, even though he had nothing to do with the cartoon show. They just also released movie characters. So, Five Points of Articulation. Actually, I mean, these were pretty good figures, especially for the price point and the way they were able to uh, get you know the clothing to go on without ruffling it. So our figure collection is expanding. More Endor figures to come, and a lot more figures to come as we continue our journey through the modern Star Wars figures, only on Spectre Creative.